Boys, today you get a quick impromptu video. When the river gets high here, fiddlers don't have a place to go. Look at all the sheep head baits. Look at them all. This is crazy. As much bait as you want and more. Big ones too. <sighs> Big old purple claws. So, a lot of people have asked me um, about sheephead fishing and why they don't use fiddlers. They're obviously available. Goodness, look at the size of that one. Uh, where'd he go? Look at the freaking size of it. My goodness. This one might actually hurt me if it pinched, if it pinched me. Uh, but again, get off it. <laughs> again, so uh, like the premier sheephead bait in Jacksonville is fiddler crabs. All they use here is shrimps. Like, why don't you use fids? They're clearly here in abundance. It's because uh, we don't really have that much bycatch here. It's pretty much all a clean bite of sheep's head red and trout. And there's so much of them. Jacksonville, you have to go through uh, a lot of trash. You gotta fight through the pinfish, the mangrove snapper, um, other smaller porgies uh, to get to those fish. And uh, so, if you really want to target sheephead well, crabs are your go-to bait. But the shrimp here work because we don't really have any bycatch here. But my God, just look at all of the fiddlers. <laughs> That's a pint right there. That's 10 bucks of fiddlers in Jacksonville. Holy moly. As far as you want to walk down this road, you're going to have fiddlers the entire way. Freaking crazy, man. Lots of trash everywhere. Imagine that. Just look at them all. Just stacked. This is freaking nuts. And again, this is happening because the river's a little bit high right now. Um, and fiddlers need marsh. And if their marsh gets flooded, they're not, they're not like, they can't breathe in water. So they can drown. So they want to stay away from stuff that is continually underwater. They can, they can deal with the tidal flow. That's what they really want. But now that, you know, all this marsh area right here is underwater completely, they lost their home. So they'll probably hang out here for a few days. When the river drops again, uh, they'll probably be back to uh, not being on the road. But uh, super cool. God, there's so much cool stuff down here. Like I just made a video driving down to the boat and checking on the side of the road. I guess I'll show you guys a boat too, but man, that's awesome. There's just so much cool stuff. Subscribe if you haven't to see incredible stuff like this. Just look at them all. Okay, so we just drove up the road a little bit. We have some flat area with um, dry spots. And look at all the fids, man. Bob was saying, it's like, how are the seagulls not just having a freaking heyday right now? I, mean, I guess they don't like crabs, but this is freaking nuts, man. I feel bad killing them, like, but you can't step anywhere without them being there. I mean, look at them. Like some people's worst nightmare. Yeah. Oh, God. I didn't like that. Oh. I picked a bad day to get to not wear boots yeah look at them it's freaking crazy Whoa. like crab infestation this place is wild man this place is just insane Yeah, look at this guy. He's standing his ground. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> this place is crazy. Look at the cross in the street. What? What? Are, what is that? Are those quail eggs? Some, some kind of egg. Why are they? Like, they're really pretty. Yeah, I'm afraid someone's gonna attack me. Bonus eggs. Drop a comment if you know what the hell 
play these things in the middle of a field. Wow, man. Oh, yeah, probably this guy. R.I.P. Oh. Why did the fiddler cross the road, Bob? I don't know. We got work to do. Here you do. We're going to the boat. So Bob said that he's actually seen this happen one other time, but he said that they got in the building super bad and they could they got in, they couldn't get out. They're like, if you know how bad fiddlers smell, oh, oh. my God, I can't even imagine. Oh yeah, so we, we all keep our boats in like shed bays, right? And they're all just lined up in all the little corners. The whole, like almost the whole parking lot was covered in them. And then when they would scatter, they'd get stuck in the corners and there'd be, I mean, you couldn't get them all out of the way. More just kept coming. So you open the door and then, you know, you do what you can to keep them out a week later. I mean, even if you got a couple of dead fiddlers in there, whoo, that's oh, something yeah. fierce. Oh yeah. It's stinking bad. Yes. For those of you that like try to keep fiddlers overnight in a bucket, even just one night, that is about the smelliest little thing that you could possibly have. I can't imagine having a having them die inside of your building or your house. Golly, be terrible. I'm sure it's happening somewhere down here right now. There's too many of them not to. Look at that thing. That's you don't want to see the next, the next generation in sword baits, no stitches. Look at it. We're using a special glue that keeps it all, all straight. All super glue. The hook can go wherever it wants. Yep. Look at the action it's got. Oh yeah, pretty wild stuff, innovation here in Louisiana. But alrighty boys, that was really cool. Um, I'm glad I got to share that experience with you. We're over here uh, making swordfish baits. There you go, push snacks, bay of light. Got a little, uh, ooh, you get a little foggy. Sorry guys. Uh, you got a little bit of a uh, black fin back ridge action. I'm about to put a skirt on it. Try to catch a broad bill with it tomorrow. It's not the prettiest looking bait I've ever made. It's not the ugliest either. But all that matters is that is not gonna spin. That is all that matters. But all right, boys. Um, man, I'm glad I, you guys got to see that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, I'm sure you guys are loving the lighting. If you like the content, please subscribe. It'll be better lighting next time. I love you all. See you all next time.